I recently finished our latest DVD with Michael Ellis titled The Foundation of Puppy Bite Work. Michael has broken protection training young dogs into categories based on age and the development stage of various training skills. In this DVD, Michael explains each of these categories. He explains how he has established a detailed step-by-step -step training program that carries a young puppy or dog through and into the next category. In the following video, Michael discusses these stages of development. This video was taken directly out of the DVD. It happens to be six minutes out of the four-hour DVD. I would also like to mention that these new DVDs are all instantly available from our Video On Demand. We recently changed the rental time from three months to 12 months. And we're currently working on the computer coding to change our Video On Demand rental period to an unlimited time period. When we do this, it will be retroactive. Okay, so as we go through the young dog development stages of bite work, we've done our pre-teething puppy work, we've gone through our teething stage, we've come out on the other end and we're going through our adolescent phase. The adolescent phase is a sort of uh, nebulous in terms of the length of time it is. It's gonna be very dependent on the given dog. But at some point we're gonna to come to the end of that session, the end of the kind of bite education session. We're gonna start doing more adult things with our dogs, putting exercises together, uh, working on aggression in the dogs, depending on that given dog's discipline. So there's gonna be things that we do with our young adult dogs, which is our next phase, uh, that we don't do during adolescence. Um, so for one of the things that we need to determine is where is that point? When is the point that we switch to the next phase and start putting exercises together and start uh, tapping into dog's aggression if I'm doing police work or potentially Schutzen work and those sorts of things or if I determine it's beneficial for a specific dog, when do we do those? And generally speaking, what it's going to be is when my young dog is biting with energy, uh, they target well, meaning they, I can get them to bite the sleeve, the leg sleeve, my shoulder, uh, all the various targeting things we've talked about through the course of this video, showing the dogs how to target. Um, and they're outing. And we have basic secondary control, meaning I can ask them to sit or down or those things, or any of those sorts of things to start uh, to our protection sessions. And at that point, and the dog is on adult dog equipment, meaning they're on a bite suit if we're doing a suit sport, they're on a sleeve if we're doing Schutzend, and then we can then send the dog to bite uh, from a distance, they'll go target where we want them to target, etc. At that stage, we're going to start putting exercises together. And when we start putting exercises together, I consider this more a young adult section. Even though some of the dogs doing this can be quite young. If I have a very precocious puppy, it's not uncommon that we're teaching, starting to teach exercises at a year old. Right? We're actually putting pieces of exercises together at 10 months and a year old. Right? So the beginning stages of that a young adult uh, kind of st stage might be earlier for given dogs and much later for others. Other dogs might be two years old before we start doing that. It's gonna be very dependent on the dog's intensity level and how quickly they go through our steps. The steps again in quick review that we covered in this are uh, the pre-teething stage where we turn the dog onto the work, familiarize the dog with the equipment and bring the dogs into the, to the biting world. Um, we do more pre-teething work with nervous high drive puppies and less with high threshold confident dogs. Right? So again, that's the basic paradigm. During teething, we basically shelve our protection work and then coming out post-teething is where we do most of our education. And we focused on teaching our dogs to target, showing our dogs all the various equipment types, uh, introducing our dogs to various stressors on environmental, personal, physical stressors, showing them how to counter those stressors, uh, introduced our initial stages of control, our out and our beginning secondary control, downing or sitting or whatever to go bite, the beginnings of our contact healing and those sorts of things that we're gonna use to put exercises together later. And we have an educated biting dog and we're ready to go to the next stages. So come, some of the things that we wanna make sure that we remember before we go on to those other stages are the critical things are during our introduction of stressors, remember to always introduce stressors 
off the bite first. Right? So we've talked about it repeatedly, but it bears mentioning again that you want the dog's biting to stop the stress. You want the dog to think that biting, using their mouth, is an answer to their stress. So whether we're using new environmental stressors, we saw puppies going through bottles and different things on their way to bite. But the dog goes through a stressor, and then when they bite, the stress stops. If I'm using a stick, the dog's initially exposed to the stick off the bite, and when they bite, the stick stops. So their biting stops that stressor. It's gonna be the same with personal pressure. I lean over the dog or stare at the dog, and when the dog bites me, I turn that pressure off. And if the dog is responding well, then we gradually introduce those stressors while the dog's biting, and we teach the dog to kind of fight back against them. But if you walked away with one thing from this video in terms of developing young dogs, that would be a valuable thing to remember. Remember to introduce your stressors off the bite, and that biting stops the stressors because if your dog learns that lesson well, they learn to counteract stress by doing what we want them to do, which is confront the decoy, bite the decoy, do those things. So we've gone along, we have a dog now that's learned that, that's learned about stress, learned about targeting, learned all those things, and we're ready to put exercises together, which will be the purview of our next video. The, next, the, the issue with this is it's complicated and very sport specific. So when we start talking about our next stage, our young adult stage, it's no longer generalized bite work. This is the specialist bite work. This is where if I'm doing French ring, I put together French ring exercises. If I'm doing Mondio ring, Mondio ring exercises. If I'm doing Schutzender IPO, I do IPO exercises. And if I'm doing police work, I focus on the basics of teaching the, the, the finished picture there. And so we have to now start to specialize. So that video uh, will be broken into sections that will be sport specific. Like, so how we teach the exercises and how much we focus on aggression is gonna be dependent on the discipline you're doing at this point. 